Hey guys, it was record cold last night and we took some hits. But amazingly enough, things like this birdhouse gourd here, completely untouched. That's crazy in my eyes. Really nice cluster of hens and chicks coming in there. But all of our cantaloupes that we planted out are all dead. So we're gonna have to replant cantaloupe. You can see this is what happened to them. Frozen. So, there's that. A oh, garlic's looking good. We got purple pestamone, lilac. Here we have a wax currant that has uh, currently has some berries, buffalo berry. Really nice columbine. I wanted to take you up on the road. See here we have some snap peas coming up with the spinach front with some mustard, little cilantro area. Take you up on the road and show you what happens up there. Some of the corn got froze on the tips, but for the most part looks good and that should be our last freeze. Everybody's always looking for a handout. It's time to feed the pig. So taking a little day off here, working on the house. We got about four or five sheets of drywall up. And so that's coming along slowly but surely. Really nice patch of current we have here. I think I'm gonna EM1 that. Now, if you remember, this was just completely dirt on both sides. Oh, we got some, some of the ute corn got froze last night, but a lot of it looks fine. And most of what's coming up here is the flax. We have some, some wheat coming in there and some peas. And some of the sorghum came up. Some more of that corn. Over here you can see the peas and the flax doing pretty good. Some other grains coming up. Looks like a barley there. So the erosion control edible in the desert more corn, more of that ute corn. Here we have some other grains coming up. Here's a milky oat. That's an oat coming out. So this section of oats and peas. And then for some reason this area is doing super good. This is a whole section of oats. You can see them. They might even be milky at this point. For making tincture. Now, oats and the blue flax is now flowering. So this section is just amazing. Oats and flax is the way I would go as far as erosion control is concerned because you can see how lush this is. And this is all oats and flax. This is all oil seed and, and medicine and food. You see here the oats, I can just go give them to the chickens. They'll be in heaven. Some peas coming up. And then some more of that blue flax. So on the drier side, we have a little lesser results. But still adequate erosion control. The rye grass, even though it's low and burnt, is everywhere. Holding that hill in. Over here you can see more of the amazing oats. Really the way to go. Look at these oats. Jesus. Amazing. Just a whole field of oats here. So, this is going to be amazing to harvest for the chickens. We'll be able to make some tincture in just about a week here. Milky oat tincture, which is good for stress, hypertension, a nutritive tonic, feeling well being. So, as soon as these oats turn into the milk phase, which is just in a few days, you'll be able to squeeze it and this white milk will come out. That's the time to harvest your oats for making tincture. Oh. So this is some flax that just came up only. 
in this region, real thin. It's another, some more bigger flax. So the flax really is the winner here. It's a really good crop to plant where there's no water. But we planted some fancy grass seed here. It just did not work. Some expensive desert grass, zero result. The flax, which is 50 bucks for a 50 pound bag, came up everywhere, as well as wheat, barley, and other grains, which we can use. We'll self seed for next year and create more resilience on this hill. Because we're trying to keep the hill in. We're trying to keep it from eroding during the major storms. See here a really nice grain. And then there's the cutoff here between the barley and the oats. And then they, take a look at the oat section. Just amazing. So what we learned from this experiment is flax and oats is the way to go for erosion control. If you want edible landscape control, flax and oats. And look at the flax over here. Just doing amazing. So we'll come down here to some of this lower stuff that we planted. Now in general, there, something grew everywhere, which is pretty astonishing considering how dry it is here. I didn't expect that. So you see how green the whole road is? Exactly what we wanted. And the flax is the big winner. It's keeping up this left hill, the down slope, and then the oats makes it really green and fantastic here. So we've got oats, we've got wheat and barley, we've got peas, And we have an edible landscape. I don't see any peas setting up on the pea plants, but they look pretty, pretty tasty. Just amazing what you can do with some seeds from the feed store. So there's our erosion control experiment. And we had 30% of this entire area is completely amazing. 100% of it has erosion control. Some of it's a little weaker than other areas. Some of it more vibrant and abundant. But the success is definitely, you guys know what that is? It's in the spinach family. It's lamb's quarter. Completely edible. Mm, delicious survival food or you can just eat it now so those are the results here we have a wormwood artemisia wormwoodia this is a wild mustard it's fantastic biodiversity here Yellow clover and those oats. Just looking fantastic. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. And grow some edible erosion control. Just do it. Be safe.